my channel. Welcome to another week of Floss Tube. Um, it is Monday. No, I'm trying to get ahead of myself, y'all. It's only Sunday. It's only Sunday. <laughs> um, I did do a little bit of stitching yesterday, so I wanted to just come in and show you that real quick. Abby's asleep, um, and she wasn't going down without a fight today. Um, and Andy, Andy needed to get out of the house. He needed to, he just wanted to do some running around and he's been talking about getting a new TV for in here, but then using the TV that we have in here currently in the bedroom to play video games on or whatever. But then he was like, no, then I'd have to move my pops, my shelves of pops and stuff like that. And then he gets defeated and <sighs> anyway, um, He's gone out for a while. Um, he is feeling a little bit better today. Um, his, his stomach was hurting a little bit yesterday. Um, but he does have a doctor's appointment, which he already had. He, his doctor's appointment is tomorrow. And, you know, to kind of follow up with the whole blood pressure medicine and all that good stuff. So, um, we kind of think it's just... Um, his like the side effects of the blood pressure medicine as well as his blood pressure getting used to being more limited might <laughs> not limited um god sorry i just had a notification come through on my phone and i could see the word limited and it came through in my mouth anyway um the the his not feeling well is just in response to the blood pressure being more regulated that's the word I was going for. Um, because his blood pressure has been up and down for months. Um, when it goes up, he gets dizzy. Um, or when it goes down. Um, so, he's still trying to get used to the medication. And doesn't look like he's going to be taking it on time today either. Um, for whatever reason, he set his alarm to take his medication at 2.30 every day and it's uh, just after two o'clock today so anyway um you don't need to hear about all that so i did do a little bit on um i'm sorry i did decide to go ahead and i think what i want to do is i am going to frog out that motif on in Barson Labro. Um, because if you remember from my last video, um, this is where she's at. I haven't, I haven't done anything else on it since you last saw it. Um, but if you remember from my last video, this motif right here is over two stitches too far this way. Um, and I've talked to a couple people about it and, you know, you really kind of start when you think you're like, not sure about something, just talk to a couple people about it because then your real, your real feelings will come out. <laughs> um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to frog it out and restitch it. And the reason being is because, um, I, I, I know that these are supposed to be symmetrical going across like this. There's this motif right here is another one just like it. This is another one. Um, and then this one right here, there's another one on this side. So it's symmetrical all the way across. Um, with the exception of some weird stitch, a couple of stitches right here. I don't know what that's about. Um, but... I think if I don't frog it out and research it where it's supposed to be, that space difference is going to bother me. Because obviously I have, I have based these things right here where the birds are. Um, these are birds. I've based these off of the lettering. So I know these are in the right place. But then this one right here is going to be further away from this bird than this one is from this bird. 
So that's my thinking. And that, that space difference is going to bother me. Um, so I'm going to end up doing that. I did uh, go ahead and put Chester on Q-Snap. And I managed to get 114 stitches on it yesterday. You're not going to be able to tell where. Um, since it's all like big chunks of color right now in the background. I do want to eventually at some point. Like this is the side of his ear right here. I do eventually want to get into doing more of Chester himself. Um, but... If I need to do a thousand stitches on background that will go really fast, then I will do a thousand stitches on background. But we'll see. I'll try to mix it up some. So, um, basically where I worked at was down in here, um, yesterday. In $37.99. So, yeah. <laughs> not, not a big, um big thing to show there. I also managed to pull out another project that is on my whip the board this month. Um, and unfortunately I don't have a, um, a model or a picture to show you what it's supposed to look like when it's done because this was a freebie that I got, um, through an order with needle craft corner. Um, and it's just a black and white, um, pattern, like that coloring you see, that's just me highlighting it. That's what was done before. Um, but I worked a little bit on it last night and this is where it's at. Um, as, as, as you just saw, I already had all this in the middle done. And I did this little vine around the edge and started on the little tulips. So, got about half of those done. So, it's literally only like four colors. <laughs> and the problem is, like the color that these tulips are in, there's a slightly darker um, tone in that kind of pinkish color. And it's literally in just like two stitches in the center of each flower. And that's it. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure they don't, neither one of these colors come back um, in the rest of the pattern. Um, yeah, no, I don't. So, um, yeah, that's where that's at right now. Um, this is on, this is over one on 28 count, um, it's Queen Anne's Lace, right? It's, um, yeah, I think it's Queen Anne's Lace Jobelin. So it's kind of like a, a pale minty green color. It's hard to tell, but over one. <laughs> and I must say that I will probably not be doing any other um, projects over one on 28 count because I'm not a fan. Um, it's pretty. It looks so pretty and it's so delicate um, doing this little design over one. Look how, look, I mean, the stitches are teeny tiny. It's just so pretty. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's really pretty and really delicate. I don't know. I will probably uh, reconsider. <laughs> I will have to consider carefully before doing anything else over one on 28 count. Um, and Chester is just on a 22 count um, Ada or Harding or, or whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure the package said Ada. So I'm going to call it a 22 count Ada. Um, but yeah, that's all the progress I got for y'all today. Um, nothing else to speak of right now. So, um, I'm just going to, while Abby is asleep, um, <laughs> yeah, 
Um, it, it, y'all, when I say it took her like two hours for her to go down after she was like rubbing her eyes and showing us that she was tired. Anywho, um, I am going to, I kind of feel like doing some diamond painting. Part of me feels like doing diamond painting, but part of me also wants to stitch. So, <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get back over there and get some more diamond painting done on the 10th doctor. Oh, and, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, um, but on April Fool's Day, I may have fallen victim to the oldest trick in the book, a company, um, sending you an email with a title that sounds very bad, but then you open it and they say, April Fool's, here's a special sale we're having. Um, and it happens to be a company that I've never bought from before, but I see a lot of people, you know, show their goods, show their diamond paintings. It's a diamond painting company. Um, I have seen a lot of people share their, um, purchases from this company. And, um, so I bit the bullet and got uh, two diamond paintings from them that they were having a buy one, get one half off. And I did try to stick to the smaller of the sizes that they ha that they carry. So both of them are uh, about 40 by 50. I think one is vertical 40 by 50 and the other one is horizontal 50 by 40. Something like that, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but roundabout, they're both 40 by 50. So not terribly big, um, but just big enough. I'm try I, I try my best to not get humongous diamond paintings because I know it'll take forever and a day to finish them, considering how many I already have back there. And I barely diamond paint as it is, so. But it's just so easy to buy them <laughs> because there's so many pretty designs and they do, they do work up faster than cross stitch. So I think that's why a lot of cross stitchers get into diamond painting because it's similar in the way like with pattern and matching up a color to a pattern square um but it's a lot faster than cross stitch and the designs come out way prettier way more sparkly than your standard cross stitch so but i will show you all that um in a separate video on my channel whenever they come in so um, i don't think they shipped out quite yet but uh when they come in, I'll let y'all know. So, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for right now. I want to get some stitching in before Little Miss wakes up. And um, until I see y'all again later, bye for now. Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's Monday, and I think that means it's April the 5th. Me and Littles are headed out to Walmart, get some groceries, and, um, hopefully I can find everything I need. Um, as far as stitching, I did not stitch at all yesterday. I know I'm a terrible stitcher. Um, I did do a little bit of diamond painting, um, but it's hard. The reason I don't do more diamond painting is because it's hard for me to just pick it up and put it down. Like, I could try to start diamond painting when I put her down, or when, after she's down for a nap, um, and I might get, like, an hour on it, and then when she's ready to get up, then I gotta put all my stuff away, you know, I gotta put the drills up, and the, the boat, and the pen, and I gotta put everything away, basically. And, um, it's just, it's a little bit easier, like, if I'm stitching, to just to kind of throw my thread in my bag and just put my Q-snap and my project bag on my car that I keep right there. That seems, that's a little quicker. That's why I don't do much diamond painting, even though I've been wanting to diamond paint more. Um, I just don't get the opportunity to do so. But um, I did do a little diamond painting on um, the tent yesterday. Um, the tent is a diamond art club um, design. 
is the Tenth Doctor, Doctor Who, in case anybody's wondering. Um, but I didn't get a whole lot of, of time on him. I did get a little bit of time, but not a whole lot of time. So, and then I was able to get maybe another half hour or so um, yesterday evening um, when Andy was trying to set up the new TV he bought. Let's see, bought it. Uh, I think he was a 55 inch. We had a 43 inch in the living room, and it's been acting up for a while. Like the sound, like you'll be listening to something, you'll be watching something, and the sound will just cut out for a few seconds, and then it'll come right back up. Um, but he wanted to get another TV for the living room, so he put the 43 inch in the bedroom, so he can play his games on and stuff when Abby's in there in the living room watching Coco Melon. He was like, if I listen to any more Kokomo, I want to lose my mind. <laughs> I'm like, well, that she's a toddler. That's what she listens to. That's the kind of stuff that she watches. Um, he's like, I know, but that doesn't mean I have to enjoy it. So, um, got the TV installed. It's a little different, not in the size-wise, but it's different in that it's a smart TV. So, it's got all the apps and stuff, and I don't know. Like, I tried to, to turn it on, you know, on YouTube this morning for Abby to watch, but then I had to go in, um, to the YouTube app on the TV, because we've been using the Fire Stick, and I couldn't figure out how to get the Fire Stick to come on. <laughs> I didn't think, I can, I didn't get to figure out how to, how to turn it over to the Fire Stick, because it shows up, like, as a TV with all the apps and stuff. So, it's something that I'm going to have to learn, apparently. Um, but I had to um, add my Google account onto the TV so that I could watch my... I had to add my Google account to the TV so that I could go in and watch YouTube under my channel... So that I could play some Cocomelon for her this morning when she was eating breakfast. So, it I'm going to have to kind of get with Andy and figure out how to work this new TV. So, but, anywho, um, we are almost up here at Walmart, so I'm going to let y'all go. I know y'all are probably glad about that, but, um, I, I could probably do a grocery haul when I get home. It's going to be a lot, though, because i got to get a few things for dinners, and i got a little bit of a longer um, list of, like, non-grocery, non-recipe stuff, um, uh, fruits and French toast sticks and all kinds of manner of stuff. Um, I've never seen that little intersection so confused. Um, but anyhow, um, I will let y'all go, and hopefully the next time I come back to you, I'll be able to do a grocery haul. But I already know that when we get home, she's going to probably go down for a nap, because I can already tell she's starting to show signs of being tired. So, anyhow, I'll come back with, to y'all with the grocery haul later on, so see y'all later. So we're on our way home now, and we're actually not too far home by now. Um, when we were leaving Walmart, when we, even when we were checking out, I was, by the time we were checking out, I was, had a full on hunger headache, and I kind of still have it. And I kept thinking, well, you know, I could just wait until we get, until I get home. Because I have leftovers at home that I can eat. But, I figured, after, once I get Abby in, and come back, get the groceries in, get her set up with some lunch, um, set my groceries up, do my grocery haul, and we're probably looking to add another couple hours. <laughs> at least another hour onto, um, on to that time. <coughs> so, so 
why I made a decision to stop by Wendy's across the street from the store and got me a Carolina Classic. Carolina Classic, and for those of you outside North or South Carolina, it is a burger that is only sold here. It's a regular Wendy's hamburger with chili, slaw, um, diced onions, and mustard. It's apparently a thing over here. I, I didn't know that the Carolinas were, apparently that's how we eat our burgers. I didn't know that. Um, but it's something they've been selling for decades. So, um, I know it was something that I missed when I moved to Georgia. Um, but yeah, I just got me a burger and got Abby a kids meal, nugget kids meal. She's back there gnawing on the nugget. I think she's still gnawing on it. Abby, eat a nugget? I don't know if she finished it or what. She's just kind of looking around right now. But anyway, she was back there gnawing on it. So, um, we're going to get in here. I think Andy said he was on his way home from the doctor's office as well. So I'm hoping he can maybe help bring in the groceries while I get her situated. Um, I'm just going to let her nap in what she's got on because it's just a t-shirt and some leggings. And, uh, yeah. The only thing Walmart didn't have was chicken that I needed. Um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I kind of, I, if I'm being honest, I kind of expected it. But, because I'll have to go get that from probably Food Lion um, tomorrow. I can probably stop by Food Lion tomorrow um, on my way home from my doctor's appointment. Um, nothing major, just a checkup that I was supposed to have had like three weeks ago but the day of my appointment I didn't feel good <laughs> um I just I think it was I had started my period or something that day like I felt terrible and I was just like I'm I don't feel like going to this appointment um because it's just a, like a, a checkup really and so I rescheduled it so it is rescheduled for tomorrow and um Sorry. Very narrow road. Very narrow road. And it's bumpy. This is South Carolina we're talking about, and our roads aren't great. I think they're probably world renowned for how bad they are around here. But, anywho, I'm about to get home and get Abby in, get the groceries in, and then I can do a grocery haul for y'all. So, see y'all in a bit. Okay, so we're home now. Um, Andy literally pulled in the driveway right, right, right before me. So luckily he was there to kind of help help me get the groceries in while I um, took care of Abby and got her set up to eat her nuggets and fries, which she's over there doing now. Um, a grand total for everything was one thirty three seventy four, And that unfortunately was without the boneless skinless chicken breast that I needed, but uh, I'll probably stop tomorrow after my doctor's appointment and get that. So let me turn y'all around real quick and show you what all I got. So here we have the Walmart haul. Um, starting over here. Don't pay attention to the sink. <laughs> hey, at least it's not messy, right? Um, two bags of um, red seedless grapes. A few bananas. I like to try to get them a little bit greener when I can because it gives me longer to use them. Um, a few kiwis. Um, a few plums. Um, because she does like plums as well. And some strawberries. I got a pack, pack of the white chocolate Kit Kats this time. Um, not that they didn't have the, dark, the regular chocolate ones, but I just felt like white chocolate this time. Um, decided to get one of a uh, pack of these. Um, because I think that, like, in times when I just need to cut up, say, her fruit or when I'm, um, slicing up her hot dog or whatever, it's just nice to be able to have that little 
cutting board that I can just grab real quick and throw it away when I'm done. Moving on over, I've got some blueberry cream cake. Just some kind of sliced blueberry cake. Pick me up a pack of uh, marshmallow peeps, purple of course. Um, another pack of French pancakes, some parsley flakes. They did have some Walmart kind, but these actually looked a little bit better than the Walmart kind. Um, a little bit more high quality, I think. <laughs> um, two cans of the lower sodium spam for a recipe. Um, crunchy tacos, good one to have tacos one night. Um, bottle of creamer. It didn't have any of the big bottle of creamer like I normally get, so I had to get a regular size bottle, unfortunately. But that's fine. At least I had some. And moving on over. Um, two boxes of Velveeta skillets in the Ultimate Cheeseburger. Um, I like to have stuff like this on hand just for when there's a night when I don't really feel like cooking. Let's say I've been out all day doing Instacart or whatever. And just something quick and easy either me or Andy can whip up. Um, another pack of goldfish for Abby. Um thing of pimento cheese that's actually for a recipe that I'm trying out. Um, it's basically chicken and broccoli florets and you basically cook it in pimento cheese and milk sauce. Um, the taco seasoning and the tortillas again for taco night. Um, we got some country mild sausage, um, ground sausage, a pack of hot dogs, um, a can of sliced carrots for Abby. Two cans of the no salt added French green beans as a side for something. Um, they had some cinnamon French toast bites. And I saw those and I thought maybe I could try those out because I usually um, break her like the regular cin cinnamon toast. Um, sorry. The regular French toast sticks um, that we normally get. I usually ended up breaking them in half anyway just because for some reason she likes it that way. So, I thought we would we could try these little smaller bite-sized ones and see, see what we think. Um, I loaded up on some coffee. Got some decaf coffee for maybe in the evenings, so I don't, I'm not drinking caffeine in the evening. Got another box of the Caramel Pecan um, coffee. I'm telling y'all, this is the best evening time coffee, like, hands down. Um, and then a McCafe. I saw this and I thought that was interesting. McCafe Baked Apple Pie. They also had a blueberry one, but I don't know about blueberry flavored coffee. Um, and then I got a box of the regular Special K. And um, moving on down. Um, they had this on Markdown, root beer and vanilla float ice cream. Um, picked that up. Thought Andy might like it because he does like um, root beer. And he does occasionally mix in like the, ice, the vanilla ice cream with it and stuff. So kind of a one shot kind of thing. Um, two pound pack of ground beef. Moving on over. Um, got two packs of frozen broccoli florets. Again, for that recipe I was telling y'all about. Um, frozen sweet potatoes. Frozen butternut squash. It's the coffee I already showed y'all. <laughs> um, gallon of milk back here. Just plain old milk. A couple bottles of the V8 Splash. A bottle of orange juice. A yoo for him. And y'all... I didn't know they still made these Mystics. This was only two flavors. They, they had like two other flavors. I, these, these we drank like nobody's business in the 90s. They used to come in glass bottles like the way these Yoo Hoops come. I saw these and I'm like, I didn't know those were still a thing. I didn't know they still made them. And he said they've been selling these for years. So apparently, I guess I just missed the bus on them. But uh, yeah, they're just as sweet as I remember from the 90s. Um, so, I got two flavors, um, and when I got to the checkout, they did have some in the cooler at checkout, so I thought I, would try, I was going to try one and see if they still taste like I remember, or maybe they taste worse than I remember. I don't know, <laughs> but um, I think I got everything. Oh, and uh, there's a 12-24 there's a pack of water down here that y'all aren't seeing, but yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. So, uh, until I see y'all again later, bye guys.
What is going on, everybody? Um, it's Tuesday, and I'm just sitting here listening to the rain right now. I don't know if y'all can hear it, um, but it's raining. Um, it just started maybe about 20 minutes ago, um, or 25 minutes ago, <laughs> something like that. Um, and I've got the door open so I can kind of watch out the door. Um, Abby's asleep. Um, so I don't know how long she's going to sleep. I said it's been a couple hours already. So, um, she may not be down for too much longer because a lot of times her, if she takes like a really long nap, it can be between about two to two and a half hours. So she probably won't be down for too much longer, but I'm just sitting here enjoying the rain and got done eating the last of the spaghetti that I ate, that I made, um, four or five nights ago. <laughs> um, it was a big pot of spaghetti. It was like two pounds of ground beef and a whole box of angel hair pasta and two jars of pasta sauce. <laughs> Y'all remember me showing, um, in my, uh, my grocery haul the other, uh, last week, I think it was. Um, where I got the two different kinds of pasta sauce and I said I'm just going to mix them. Yeah. Um, I think I made that Wednesday or Thursday. But it's been a few days. Um, I love pasta. <laughs> Andy's not as crazy about pasta as I am. He's like, it all tastes the same to me. So, I try not to make it too much. Um, but I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is my favorite. So when I make a pot of spaghetti, I pretty much end up eating all the leftovers, um, which is fine by me. I don't mind that. But anywho, um, Andy is off work and normally he would be getting home about now, but he said that he was going to um, run by and pick up his prescription refill um, from his doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, they did decide to keep him on the same medication. Um, the, le the doctor, a woman told him that it was like with his stomach issues and stuff, his stomach hurting, that was part of just part of the medication. <laughs> um, so he was going to go pick up, um, a refill on his prescription and then um, something about trying to get a TV mount for the TV to put the TV that we had in here to put it in the bedroom in there and to mount it up on the wall or something. I don't know, but he was going to get his prescription and a TV mount. So he'll be home a little bit later. And the doctor's appointment that I thought I had today is not till tomorrow. <laughs> Apparently I was getting the dates mixed up. I was thinking yesterday was the 5th and today was the 6th when I was a little bit, um, I was a little bit mixed up. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just sitting here, um, enjoying the peace and quiet for now. I don't have much of a stitchy update to show you guys. Um, I did manage to get the motif frogged out and I restitched the um, stem part, uh, that one, ugh, hope y'all didn't see that, um, I restitched the stem part of that one motif, um, you see how it's coming off, um, this bottom stitch on the L, so that's where it's supposed to be, like, before it was, like, coming out, like, over here, um, so yes, I did decide to frog it out and restitch it. It certainly helped that I was doing all of my motifs separately. Like I didn't try to carry between motifs. And I just started, um, since I had this thread out, it's the leftover um, of the length that I was did this in. Um, while I had that thread out, I decided to go ahead and try to finish off the bottom part of this one. They look off, don't they? But it's supposed to be even, so. And it's, it's coming down from where it's supposed to come down. I don't know. Perspective, maybe. <laughs> so, but yeah. That's what I've done. 
And if I had enough thread, I would go ahead and stitch the motif that's over here. Um, there's another one on this side. And then there's a big bowl of fruit down here. I'm just trying to do a little bit at a time in different colors. So, But that's all I got for y'all um, as far as stitching wise. But yeah, I'm just, I'm on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more stitching in right now because she's starting to kind of shift around so she may be waking up here pretty soon like I like I expected um so that's all I got for y'all today and um as much as I would have liked to have gone and do Instacart today when Andy got home I don't think it's gonna happen because I hate doing Instacart in the rain I try not to do Instacart in the rain um but uh we'll see I do need to go out to the grocery store though so oh and um I'm hoping it's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, I had like a big order from Amazon. I haven't, I haven't bought so many different things. Like I've done so much shopping here lately. Um, like I need to cut it out. <laughs> I really do. Um, but it's not stitching things that I've been buying necessarily. Um, I bought like a bunch of different things from Amazon. Um, yesterday and they're supposed to be here tomorrow um i bought like a lapel mic and i also bought a ring light setup um i was trying to find a ring light that was just the ring light but apparently it's so nearly impossible to find just a ring light like that you can use with your um phone filming without having to buy the ring light phone holder but anyway um i bought a ring light it's got three different um three different colors i think and 10 different settings all together so i'm hoping that i can use that ring light for when like it's dark in here or it, in the evening times um then that might help you know make things a little bit brighter and then lapel mic i bought because i know like especially with when i'm doing my editing a lot of times i know i can tell that i'm talking low or the sound is just not carrying the way that i think it should be so i got a a, a microphone to maybe help with the uh the volume of my boys um and the plan is in the future to have a separate room then i can actually sit down and thunder um to have a space where i can sit down and do my updates again um, the way i used to so um fingers crossed and my diamond painting, the diamond paintings that I ordered the other night, on um, the other day, on April Fool's Day, they are being prepared for shipment. Um, I don't think they've left the space, the business yet, but they are, they're coming eventually. Um, I've ordered Abby a new bath seat because she's going to be growing out of the little baby one here soon um y'all believe when i took her to the doctor a couple weeks ago she was 21 pounds oh goodness gracious um what what else did i bought things from amazon <laughs> um but then i placed a whole big huge order with carters yesterday I don't know why y'all I went in to get her some basic black and white leggings well I got a a um a bundle kind of thing it was a black and a light gray I can deal with it um and then I got her a pair of um capri black leggings and then I got her a a bundle of a black and a white just a plain plain t-shirt 
it's got some ruching here around the middle but um because i noticed when i was trying to get her dressed the other day um, for us to go out yesterday when we say when we southerners say the other day we could be anywhere from yesterday to like two weeks ago um but i'm i know when i was trying to get her dressed yesterday to go out to the grocery store i was having such a hard time figuring out what to dress her in <laughs> because part of me was like god i wish i really just had i wish she just had some black leggings or i wish she just had a plain white t-shirt i could put underneath this little jumper thing but she didn't have any of that so i went in to get her plain leggings black and white or black and gray leggings and some black and white plain black and white t-shirts and i also came away with four pairs of shoes because they had them buy one get one free so i got four pairs of shoes and i bought her a another jumper and two pairs of pajamas <laughs> but it's because i have the carter's credit card <laughs> um but yeah that happened so and then today i bought for her i bought her a a cup it's supposed to be good for helping babies learn how to drink from a regular cup um and then when they when they learn how to drink from a cup and there's like a a piece in the middle that comes out um and you just a regular cup it's probably not the one you're thinking about um because there's a, a popular cup that's it's a regular cup and it's got like a a round metal piece with like notches on the edge that's supposed to help um slow slow the flow and regulate the flow of the liquid it's not that one this one has another like a little smaller cup basically it's a cup um that you put the liquid in and then you put the bigger cup kind of over top of it and then flip it back over and it's supposed to only give out a little bit of the um liquid at a time to kind of help them learn how to drink from a cup so we're gonna try that um so again i've talked your ears off um anywho um she's gonna be waking up here soon i'm gonna try to enjoy the rest of my time here watching and listening to the rain and uh watch a little bit of youtube and see if i can get some more stitching done so guess i'll see y'all later bye guys you ever try to watch something helpful on YouTube um, from somebody that does what you're trying to know how, know how to do? And they spend way too much of their video hawking whatever it is they're trying to sell of their own, of their stuff that they're trying to sell. This lady, I'm trying to watch this lady make, bag up a whole bunch of freezer meals. And apparently this is her thing. Um, and she had, she keeps advertising and plugging in her bundle deal that she has with all these books and, or ebooks of the freezer meals and cooking recipes and stuff like that and i'm like i don't care i just want to watch you hawk your i just want i just want to watch you bag up your freezer meals and it's not like she's giving the recipes or anything not really um she is using these cool bag stand things but i don't want to i don't care about your bundle deal of your all of your cooking stuff to show me show me what it is you brought me here to do anyway that's annoying <laughs> sorry that's all i got to say it figures that five minutes after that last video clip i had to take a very much needed trip to the bathroom 
Emma was in there. She woke up. <laughs> and I realized that the cat was in her room. So, no more relaxing time for me. What's up, guys? It's me. Um, today is Thursday. It's the 7th. And I know that now. Because I had my doctor's checkup yesterday. Everything was good for the most part. Um, it was literally just in and out. Um, they asked me questions, took my blood pressure, my weight. I'm a little heavier than I thought I was. Um, I definitely need to um, start working on that. Um, and But my blood pressure seemed good. And, um, I talked with her about some things that I had going on, and she made a suggestion that I kind of start taking some DHEA. Um, and I was asking her, I'm like, do you know, because, well, I have trouble taking pills, do you know if it comes in anything else, you know? And she said, well, you can probably look around Amazon or something. And so when I got home last night, I was looking around on Amazon. And I found some DHEA supplements. Um, this is from dinner last night. Um, I apologize. <laughs> um, it's grease. Um, but I was looking around on Amazon and found a supplement that's in a liquid form that you use with a dropper. And it's basically, you're supposed to be able to um, control the... Um, a dose that you take um it says that like if you take a full dropper um it's like 12.5 milligram so you take two of those for 25 milligram or you can take a small um the smaller amount in the dropper and it's five milligram so we'll see um i'll i'll um it's supposed to arrive saturday so when it arrives i'm gonna try to play around with the dosage and see. She did say that for us, it doesn't take much. A <laughs> um, little bit goes a long way. So, well, I'm probably gonna start out maybe once a day, maybe I might take um, like a full, a full one dropper or something. I don't know, it's something I'm gonna have to play around with. Um, and then she did the, just the self, um, checking up here and everything and did the lovely little pap smear and it was surprisingly shorter like quicker and not as painful as I remember them being I don't know if all this extra blubbiness if that played a part in it I don't know um but it was like it just seemed like it was over and done um and then I was on my way so um, so like I said, I, it seemed like everything went well. I talked to her about things and they just got the vitals and the usual questions. So, um, today it is technically, I, Andy got off 45 minutes ago, but he did say that he was going to run and take some, an Amazon thing back to drop it off to, at the UPS door. Y'all have seen me do that before. Um, he was going to take and drop that off at the UPS store, and then he was going to go pick up his, um, prescription, new prescription renewal thing. Ironically, his, he got a thing in his, um, in the mail from his insurance, um, about the whole medication that he's newly been prescribed, and in the letter, it said that he needed to get his medication in three months supplies and three months three months supply but they're all he's only allowed two like he's only allowed one refill or something um within the year I don't I don't know what's going on with that um his he has um Cigna insurance I think through his job Anywho, um, so he's, he's, he's gonna be home a little bit later, but he'll probably be home here soon. Um, but I just wanted to get this quick update. 
I have worked on a couple of things since you last saw me a couple days ago. Uh, it is a sunny day. It's a nice day. It was really nice yesterday up until the heat made it start raining last night. I didn't even realize it rained last night until I got up and everything was wet. Um, so let me show you a couple things that I've been working on. I have not picked up Chester yet again since I first worked on him and I need to do that. But I did work a little bit on Ann Varson. Um, when y'all saw this the other day, I had frogged out and restitched this stem right here. Um, and I think I was only down to like here on this one. Um, and since then I have done part of the red part of the bloom. And then I've come down a little bit more on this stem. There's literally like a few more rows. Like you see how this one, it has a few of these um, three stitch, yeah, three stitch rows. There's supposed to be five total. Um, this one, I only had enough to do two. So there's nine more stitches here. <laughs> um, but I carried the floss out as far as I could and I just didn't have enough to finish that last little bit. Um, I'm gonna do that next time I pick that color up which I will need for another motif like this. And then there's there's a bowl of fruit right here um, that has that um, green in it, so. But that's what I've done on this. Oof, color. <laughs> that's about right right there. Um, but that's what I've done on this since y'all last saw it the other day. I'm gonna move this case, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done on it so far. Um. I'm just, I'm having, I'm still having fun working on it, so, and that, that and my goal is a finish for it, for the year, which I really, really, really want to meet that goal. Um, and the next thing I worked on was, I literally just picked this up this morning when I was sitting here and Abby was playing in her playpen, and today has been a day where she was up. I put her down after she'd been up for about two and a half hours. Um, I saw her yawn and she had rubbed her eyes a couple of times. I thought, okay, she's getting tired. So I put her in there and she sat in there for like an hour and was no closer to laying down and going to sleep. So I brought her back in here and she is set in here for another probably two hours. And I just put her back down um, a little bit ago, so. Uh, she's, she's this close to being out. Like her eyes are closed and she's laying there like she's asleep, but her fingers are still moving. So, and I just put her in there, in there maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. So she's tired. <laughs> um, but uh, I worked on it this morning and then I worked on it just now for a little bit to finish up what I started this morning. <laughs> but um, I guess I could show you what I'm talking about, huh? So this is Garden Square. Um, it's a freebie that I received with a Needlecraft Corner order. It's a black and white pattern. So um, last you saw, um, all this was done. Um, this green was done. I had about, where is it? I had these half of the outer part of these flowers done. I don't know if you can see, the, there's like a lighter red and a darker red. I had all of that lighter red done in like these, this half of the flowers. And this morning I finished up the rest of the outer bits, that lighter red in the flowers. And then, um, just that when I got her back up, I had her in her playpen. Um, she was on the floor playing, and then she kind of got ahead of, ahead of herself, and she went chin first. I thought she hit her head, but apparently she went chin first into the floor because I went to change her diaper a little bit ago, and she's got a bruise on her chin right there. So, um, and then after that, she 
she cried for a few minutes and and when she settled down um I uh I, I got her a container of goldfish and some apple juice and set her in her playpen and she was good with her goldfish so <laughs> um but anywho um when she was in, in her playpen with her goldfish I came back and I did two stitches in each of these flowers in a darker red uh, I did that and then I just sorry I'm holding it wrong <laughs> um and then I had just started on this next, this next around. There's two more arounds. Um, can show y'all. So like, that's the center, and then this one right here is the one with the flowers. This is the one that I just started on, this one right here. And then there's one more. But, they're both in that same, um, they're both in that same dark $37.99 so this one right here is the only one with any color in it I'm kind of thinking it's like okay this is a garden square thinking of it as like a garden like a nice fancy garden maybe this is a fountain and then you have you know the garden part of it and then um, these next two rounds are like a gate like the like a stone wall and a gate I don't know something like that that's what I feel um but yeah that's where it sits at right now um in case I haven't said it in a while um Ann Barson is on a solo die I think from Zweigart or um Silk Weavers I still have not decided yet and this is on a over one one over one on a 28 count queen anne's lace jobelin i don't recommend doing over one on jobelin just saying um i there's been a quite quite a few instances while i've been working on this where the stitches have slipped um like you put it in one hole and then it kind of moves itself over to the next hole beside it so um so that is what i worked on the last couple of days um i did work on my diamond painting a little bit last night and i think i may have worked on it the night before last too i don't remember um but i will i will take y'all here in a minute and show you um that she's asleep <laughs> i'll take y'all here in a minute and show you um where I'm at on that. I did receive yesterday in the mail my World of Cross Stitch. This is issue um, 318. Um, and this is the, the kit that comes with it. It's a card that kind of opens up like a door. Um, take this off. So that's your, that's your kit. Um, in this this month um, and here's what's in it that's kind of pretty little girl little bird and of course I will kind of do a quick flip through for y'all and show you everything that's in here our furry tail for the month is a cute little mouse in a wheelchair Um, it's same as Charlie, in case anybody's wondering. And they do put the the pattern for that kit in here as well. And then we have, um, it says Unicorn Kiss as the title of the article. Um, but the names of the patterns are up here. So we have Belle and Boo. And this is by... I guess this is the designer is Belle and Boo. So we're going to call it Unicorn Kiss, and it's designed by Belle and Boo. So, I 
and then we have um, Wildflowers Bouquet by Amanda Gregory. The only thing I don't care for with World of Crossage is the amount of extra stuff that's in there. It's just a personal thing. A lot of uh, readers submitted stuff and articles on designers and advertisements for companies and stuff. And then we have Blue Tip Cushion. And that is by Kay Widowson. Um, reader requested pattern, um, designed by Jenny. Sorry. Um, <laughs> reader requested, um, design from Jenny. Um, lovely little, uh, what you call these? Kiwi bird. Because this person is from New, New Zealand. And they've requested a kiwi bird. I always like to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, then we have Planet Hoops. This is by Emma Congdon. I don't know if I could stitch all of these on that black. I mean, I know obviously it's the one of the few choices you would have to stitch as far as colors to stitch these on but I think um, like a nice dark like something like um, Phantom or um, there's another one by Picture This Plus I think that would be really pretty um, and FYI they are charting this um with three strands on 14 count um, and they kind of give you tip tips on how to stitch with three strands um the design library for the month is let us celebrate is um some little kawaii designs and this obviously is only showing a few a few of the designs um, I will give you kind of an idea about what else is in here. And here's Swarm. But oh, wait, there's more. Imagine. <laughs> Anybody need a pattern for a bowl of uh, salad? <laughs> or um, a piece of pizza? <laughs> I think those would be really cute to stitch up his cards and stuff. There's a few more, including an alphabet, in case you want to personalize it with a name or anything. Um, this one is really kind of pretty. Um, it's by Gail Busey. It's called Home Sampler. Speaking of kawaii and sweet stuff, <laughs> home is where the cake is. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then our alphabet for the month is emotions, ABC. They call it F is for feeling. Um, sorry. That sampler that does say you can buy a, um, a materials pack for it from Lakeside Needle Craft. So, um, so that's a few of them. And I'm not gonna show you all of the alphabet, but like each letter has a word associated with it. Oh, come on. Ah, can't get it. Um, and this by the way is by Heather Nugent. So there's a few more. Um, like you have E has energetic, J has joy, joyful, 
G is generous, O is optimistic, so on and so forth, P is passionate, you know, so on and so forth. So, we have kind of a, a little bit better look at the A right there. And you could stitch them without the words if you wanted to. Um, and then we have Easter Cards by Jenny Van Duyle. Van Duyle. Van Duyle. These kind of look like they have like a vintage flavor to me anyway. So, some cards. Really Easter card. I definitely try to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and we have another reader requested pattern. I think Amazon. We have another reader requested pattern from Doreen Jones, and it's a cute little Akita. I'm trying to get this without cute little Akita. So, um, I'm gonna have to pause you real quick, and I will be back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I thought Andy was home, um, and it wasn't Andy. It was a the mail carrier dropping off a package. So, um, our next design is a spotlight designer from Kate's Baradnova. Um, these are, um, egg decorations. Um, and this is like a little pocket right here. So you would stitch this thing and then there's a pocket there and then you can put a coin or um, something along those lines. <laughs> I think they have more than just those three. Um, they do show the full, I don't know if I can show you, in case you decided to either stitch them double, um, I'll give you like you can see they, they they're showing like the whole whole um critter <laughs> or whatever and then that way in case you didn't want to you know, stitch the little pocket thing um, you could still use it and then our next one is the mother earth and this is by lisa reeks And then I think that might be it, possibly. Um, no, our, we end up, end off with Fabby's Masterclass. And this month we are just learning how to do partial stitches. So, nice little, um, with the magnet, with the magnolias. Um, little flowers with a couple bees there so that's really sweet obviously there's a lot of partial stitches in those bees <laughs> but yeah so that is going to be it for the patterns in this book and give you a look at next month so that is all of the haul <laughs> haul that I had to show you um let me take you over real quick to my table back there and I'll show you where I'm at so far on my diamond painting hold on just a second so this is where I'm at so far on the tent I'm gonna pull him up a little bit here this is him all together <laughs> as you can see I have a long way to go um, but this is where he's at now. Um, I've, since you've last seen him, I've done probably this last half all the way across. So he is looking good. Nice and sparkly. Love this. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and this TARDIS part over here, I'm loving, absolutely loving these ABs. 
there's some here and then there's a few more mixed in here um, and then I got to bring out the white ABs for the first time last night so I'm trying to get to where you can see them there you go there's a little bit so those white ones are ABs so that is where um, the tent is right now these coming along like I said so got a long way to go uh, and this, if you're not, if you didn't know, um, if you didn't know about this design, this is a Diamond Art Club design. I unboxed him previously, I don't know, maybe six months or so ago. Um, I will link that video down in the description. Um, so yeah. Anywho, that is my update for now. I am going to try to get some more stitching in. Um, I know Andy will be home soon. And uh, yeah. Until I see y'all later. Bye, guys. Sorry. Can't let you go just yet. Um, I did forget to talk about a couple of things that I did receive or that I ordered and bought from Amazon. I know y'all heard me mention the other day that I ordered a ring light and a lapel mic. And those came in. Um, the ring light. This is the ring light. And... It's, it clips onto your phone or your camera if you so so choose. Like if you have a small like point and shoot camera or something, um, it's pretty wide. And so yeah, it, it can accommodate something a little bit smaller like a, a phone. Um, but it has. I'm I'm gonna try not to point this directly at the. So that's pretty bright. <laughs> um, so you have three different levels so that's down it has three buttons on the top up here it has the the power button which also changes the kind of light and then it has an up button and a down button um so you have this this is the regular mixed light i guess you would call it one two three so it has four levels in each color. So we're gonna change this over to cool light. And then go down, two, three, four. And we'll hit this again. And this is the warm light. So I'm gonna go down. So yeah, it has three different kinds of light and each color light has four levels of brightness so really cool and the best part is it's rechargeable i could even actually have this plugged up as i'm using it which is pretty cool um probably could plug it even plug it into my computer um <laughs> if i'm recording and i happen to have my computer open my laptop open i can just plug this usb into the laptop so I just thought this was really cool. Um, you can see, let's try this. You get to try it with me. I've done some playing around with it. Like I've got it hooked on, over to where my camera is. My camera's over here on this side, if you didn't see where it was pointed at. Um, like, um, yeah, that's that's where my camera comes out at. So it's it's actually that little slot right there that is where your your camera slash speaker is on your phone um so point it there and then i'm gonna turn it on Whew, blinding so it automatic when you turn it on it automatically comes on on the the mixed light the regular light that's the cool and that's the warm so let's turn that down a little bit so so yeah that's warm light um, on the lowest setting. So I think that's really cool. Um, and the other thing I got is actually a lapel mic. Um, I have it here. I was doing some playing with it earlier and I was gonna try to use it for this update, but um, it comes with audio jack, which is fine if you're using it with a computer or something. Um, and it does come, see it comes with the four four prong I guess you would call it and then they have a smaller version which plugs over that that's all well and good if you have an Android phone 
I have an iPhone and it happens to be an iPhone that does not have the audio jack. It has the one and only lightning plug in it. So what I'm gonna have to do before I can use this is I'm gonna have to get a um, audio jack to lightning adapter. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to use it soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, just had to put in here. I forgot to show you all those. Um, I did get some other things um, for me and for Abby. I gotten another two pack of the insulated bags for me to use like during in doing the Instacart and stuff. And I've been thinking about that because I've taken a couple of Instacart orders um, here lately. I mean, I've done it in the past too, but I mean, I just noticed that if I have only a couple of different orders in the same batch and they both have frozen, um, or like in the case of the one order that I did the other day, um, one, one of the orders had frozen items, but then they also had a hot rotisserie chicken. So I want to keep the hot chicken in a separate bag from the frozen and cold stuff. So I got an extra couple of bags so that I have, um, have room to do that. Um, I did get Abby, I, well, I got a brush to try to use with Abby's hair, but her hair is so fine, y'all. It just goes right through it. Um, so what I'm going to have to try to do is get an actual, not like a horse hair brush, but you know what I mean? Like the real soft, soft bristle brush. Um, I'm going to have to try to do, get one of those. And that's what I set out to do to begin with. But then I saw this. Uh, darn. Darn. Sorry. It's, um, it's by Frida Baby. Um, and this is the real soft, this is the soft bristle one. It's not super soft, I know. Um, but this is the soft, soft bristle one for fine hair, um, and straight thin hair. Um, and it comes with a cover. <laughs> comes with a cover. Um, and, um, I had gotten Abby some cups to try to drink out of, like, just the regular sipping. And she seemed to got a, got the hang of it um, when I showed her, like, what to do. She was holding it, and she was drinking out just fine until she kind of went up a little bit too far back um, when she was lifting it up, and so it, it, it all went out. Um, I think the, the amount that it's letting out is still a little bit too much. Um, but we're going to try it again at another time. So... Um, yeah, just a couple of different things, um, for me, for Abby, these things. <laughs> I did get her another bath seat, um, because the one I had bought before is, um, our tub is not exactly flat on the bottom. It's slightly curved, like maybe. And, um, the seat that I got before, it has suction cups and I... <sighs> It's not ideal for a tub that's not completely flat on the bottom. Um, it just doesn't want to sit in there right. And so I decided to get another bath seat that's more, it has um, a tension. It basically has a tension thing that you screw out and it grabs a hold of the side of the tub. And there's one at the back, of, and there's one at the back. Um, not a tension rod, but like a, a bumper of, so, of sorts. Um, I'll put a picture in right here. But, um, got her another bath seat, so I'm going to try that <laughs> next time I gave her a bath. Probably tonight. Um, so, sorry. Just had to put in here and, and show y'all a couple of uh, things that I had gotten from Amazon. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to let y'all go now. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Good evening, guys. It's me again. One last time for the week. Um, It's late. Like, super late. It's a uh, quarter after 1 a.m. And um, technically we are into Saturday. But since it's still my Friday, I'm going to... Um, update you guys 
one last time um, and then I can upload this video. Um, luckily, I don't have much to show you because I did go out for a little while earlier, but I did get some progress on Chester um, today. And I don't think I showed you guys a um, a picture um, of the picture that I'm doing. Um, this is a self-charted pattern, so unfortunately, I can't I can't give you a place where you can find this. It's just a picture that I had found on the internet um, after he passed away. Um, and if you don't know who this is, this is a this was the lead singer of my favorite band of all time. Um, his name is Chester Bennington. Um, he was the lead singer of a band called Lincoln Park, it was a rock band. And he unfortunately took his own life in 2017. Um, and I used to know this y'all, July, I think. Um, I'd have to double check on that. But, um, and so after he passed away, I found the picture just on the internet that I liked. And I did do a little editing, but the picture that I'm going to show you does not have the editing on it. This is the picture that I used. Um, I just, I added in some text to the upper right hand in that space right there with his name, his birth year, and his death year. Um, and, or, I don't know if it's the full dates, um, or just the years. I don't remember, but um, I did it with a, a program on an old computer, which I don't have access to anymore. Um, but I still have the digital pattern, so I'm, I'm just continuing to work on that. Um, so let me show you the progress that I got. Um, I did get today, I got um, 271 stitches in him. And this is where he's at. Um, if you see this little blob of the dark gray here, that's what I did today. That's what I did today. The blending on these colors is not the best, unfortunately, but it's just background, so it is what it is. So, but that's all I got done on him. Um, and like I said before, or like in the last clip that I showed him, that's a 22 count, Ada. So, part of me kind of wishes I had done it on a 25 count, but I think I was trying to make it easy on myself, or I was just trying to use what I could find in a store. I don't remember. But, uh, that's all the stitching I've got for you today. There's no, um no um haul or stitchy mail or anything like that so um i do want to say this though about a week ago i bought a monthly plan for a car wash down here a car wash company down here and it's the just their basic lowest package that they had and it's like 15.99 a month and it's unlimited the basic washes um, and it's already paid for itself. I've already washed my car twice within a week and it's paid for itself. And the reason being is because we're in the South and our property is surrounded by trees. I have to park my car outside. So my car could be clean one day and then ha come outside the next day and have a beautiful little yellow dusting of pollen on it. So. Um, when, and when I do Instacart, I do like to keep my car clean. I don't like to pull up to somebody's house with a car that's covered in pollen. Um, so I do like to keep my car clean uh, as much as possible. And um, I would say that if you travel like for work, like if you use your car to travel for work, for sales or whatever, um, or you do some kind of delivery thing on the side, like I do, um, Instacart, DoorDash, Uber, stuff like that. Especially if you drive for Uber, 
um, or um, Lyft, any of those ride sharing ones, anything like that that you use your car for, um, for customers and to be a part of your presentation for who you are. Um, I would definitely check into monthly plans at whatever car wash you like to go to in your area. Um, in my area, we have Autobell. Um, I know they're in, in and around North Carolina in different places. I don't know where else they might be. Um, but there are other car wash companies around here that you can get the unlimited plans in as well. Um, but I said, I just got the basic, um, the cheapest monthly plan, um, $15.99 a month, unlimited basic washes. But the interesting thing is they have an app. So whenever you get close to the car wash, you can go in and say, start wash, start a wash. And it'll ask you a couple of things. And one of the things it'll ask you is, would you like any additional services? Um, like say you wanted to add a, a tire, a hand dry or a tire shine or a wax or something like that. You can add additional services when you're um, doing this in the app before you get there. So, and then when I pull up, I just, you know, a guy comes up to the, at this particular car wash, they have attendants and they, they come and they, we'll get your payment information and everything and the guy comes up and it's like i have to i have a monthly plan here's my code so he got his little scanner came back and scanned my phone and just went on my way um so yeah i would definitely check into that i think it's an interesting idea especially if you use your car like i said for work or any kind of delivery service ride sharing uh or if you just like to keep your car clean if you're OCD, maybe you like to keep your car clean. I don't know, but I think it's a great thing. So, I mean, as long as you wash your car, you know, to at least a couple of times a month, I think it's probably worth it, you know, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I'm tired. I'm probably going to, might, might wind down with a cup of decaf or something. I haven't figured that out yet, but I know I need a little something, you know, before I go to bed. I can't figure it out. You ever get like that sometimes where you know you need to go to bed, you want to go to bed, you're about to go to bed, but you just think, I need a little something. Like, I don't know what, but I need a little something. Um, and you'll figure it out when you get there. <laughs> so, y'all don't mind me. This is the uh, delirium talking. <laughs> So, I'm going to let y'all go. I've talked long enough. Then Lord knows this video is going to be long enough. And I apologize. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that long. I thought it was going to be another short one. So, so um, but until I see you guys again next week, hope you get lots of stitching and Easter's coming up soon. I did go to, I did go to Dollar Tree to try to find Abby some stuff for an Easter basket. I think, I swear, I think the hardest thing in life is trying to figure out what to get an 18 month old in her Easter basket. I found some things. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'll see y'all again next week. Bye guys.